Hello and welcome to a quick video explaining a spreadsheet that will automate the calculations that you'll need to do if you wanted to make a scale model of the Earth, Moon, and Sun system in preparation for analyzing an eclipse, like for example analyzing the shadow path or the shadow speed. So essentially what we have is a table of values that uses the main uh, values that are interesting. Moon diameter, Earth diameter, moon to earth distance, earth to sun distance, and the sun diameter. And when you're building a scale model, you want units that make sense to you. And sometimes those units don't aren't all the same unit. Uh, if you're talking about something very small, maybe it's you know millimeters or centimeters, but when it gets larger, you might want to talk about feet or meters or yards. Um, and if it gets really big, you know maybe kilometers or miles. So what the spreadsheet does is it, it, it computes all the values. Okay, it just computes all the values, and then you pick the value, you pick the units that make sense for you. Um, and the starting point when you're doing any scale model is a, a value, and I, what I chose is the, the value of the moon, the size of the moon. And to have the scale model be as manageable as possible, you probably want a small size for your moon. So, for example, you can type in one centimeter for the moon. Uh, you're welcome to type in inches instead. Uh, yeah, you could type in a decimal. Just put one, you know, put a value in just one of these cells. But I, I figure one centimeter is a nice starting point. Um, and then what the software will do, what the spreadsheet will do, is it will compute the sizes of the, the moon, the earth, the sun, and then the moon distance, and then the sun distance. In, uh, in millimeters. Now how does it do that? It simply makes a proportion using the table in orange. Now where did these values come from? I simply copied them from uh, the standard heliocentric model. Uh, and if you want to make a scale model using the flat earth model, you're welcome to uh, type in uh, different distant or you know different values here. Um, and if you want to do all the values in kilometers, you can put in the kilometers, but you know only only use one row. Like if you use kilometers, make sure you zero out the the uh, the row that says miles. All right. So essentially, there's proportions here. Um, you know, what's the ratio of the Earth diameter to the Moon diameter? You know, like we people often say it's you know four to one. It's it's a little bit less than than four to one. Um, but this will do this will do all the math for you. Okay. So with your starting point of one centimeter for your Moon. And this is, I just chose one centimeter. You're welcome to type in any other value. Let's go down to the bottom of the table and let's see what our scale model will look like. And again, I'm going to skip around the spreadsheet because if there's a very small value, you know, like 0.01 yards, like that's not a very helpful value. Likewise, if there's a very large value, you know, 435,000 millimeters, that's not very helpful either. So what we can do is we can skip around the table and pick the values that make sense for us. So here's our one centimeter moon. What's the distance to the moon? Well, it'll be 42 inches, okay? What's the diameter of the Earth? Three and two thirds centimeters, uh, almost one and a half inches. What's the distance to the sun? Now here we're gonna skip down. Uh, 476 yards. Okay, that's uh, you know almost five football fields away. And then lastly, what's the diameter of the sun? Uh, it's about 13 feet in diameter. Okay, so you can actually go around the table picking the values uh, that you'd like. So let's uh, let's try it with another set of values. Let's say we picked six inches for our moon. This would be a much bigger model. Um, maybe you're planning you know, a, a garden or something where you know, you're going to have a scale model of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. So if the Moon is six inches in diameter, let's take a look at what the table says. The distance to the Moon is now going to be about 53 and a half feet. The Earth is going to be 22 inches in diameter or about, you know, 1.8 uh, feet in diameter. What's the distance to the Sun? In our scale model, again, if the moon is six inches, the, the distance to the sun would be 4.1 miles. And that sun diameter would have uh, a diameter of 200 feet in diameter. Okay, I'm gonna switch this back to one centimeter just because I, I think one centimeter is easy to, uh, to visualize. The right side of the spreadsheet is related to the speed. Now there's a lot of debate in the flat earth uh, community 
about the speed of the shadow, the speed of the moon, and should it all be about angles. So what I've decided to do is, is automate that part of the spreadsheet uh, using the actual um, ratio of angles. So for example, over here in orange and red, how many solar days per Earth's rotation and how many solar days per moon's orbit. So here's the ratio. The, the Earth is rotating one day and then it takes the moon to orbit um, 29.5 days. So the Earth is clearly this clearly moving uh, 29.5 um, times faster. In terms of angle, uh, the Earth is moving much, much faster. But what this does is it then computes the ratio of the circumferences. So for example, what's the circumference of the Earth? What's the circumference of the moon's orbit? And though that ratio is a 58. So in other words, the moon has to travel a distance that is 58 times greater than the circumference of the Earth. And it does that in 29.5 days, whereas the, the Earth, the Earth's circumference moves in one day. So it combines those values and the value that you select up here to come up with this table of values down here. So let me explain that now. Let's uh, look at the description. It says, per unit of time, enter a value for how far the Earth's surface moves. So let's say you had a model and you have your Earth. Now, how big is our Earth in this uh, scale model? It's, it's got three, almost four centimeter diameter Earth. Okay, it's almost a four centimeter diameter Earth. And so if you have this model Earth and you put a ruler up to it and you wanted it to turn a certain uh, amount, say one centimeter per unit of time. Now that could be any unit of time you want. You know, every 10 seconds, say. Every 10 seconds the Earth will move, the surface of the Earth will move one centimeter. Well then what the spreadsheet does is it uses these values which are scaled to you know whatever values you typed in here and it will tell you how far the moon will travel in its orbit. In this case, it will travel almost two centimeters. So if the Earth's surface moves one centimeter, the moon will travel two centimeters. Um, and you can actually you know, then measure that out in your scale model and with a, with a bright light or something. All right, so I hope you find this spreadsheet helpful. Uh, just simply automated all the calculations for you. Um, I'll be interested to see your, uh, your comments. Thank you.